Jimmy Dean. Uh, and I played it straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own ukulele, and you can play right along with this video. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. In just a moment, I'll do a basic tutorial covering everything I just played. At the very end, I'll do a slow motion close up play along that you might find helpful. But right now, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each one with a link to its own free video tutorial and play along, then check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. All right, now I didn't make an easier version of this song. I could have, but it would have simplified it so much. I would have had to like, in order to make it simple, I would have had to take out the two key changes and simplify all the different versions of the chords I did. And I thought, you know, it's not going to be much fun to play if it's simpler. So you can, in fact, simplify this song by playing the easiest version of every chord, if you'd like. That is to say, you can just play a straight G every time it says G, even though I've got a second position G and a tenth position G. Uh, or whatever that is, sixth. I don't know. I don't remember how high that is. <laughs> but anyway, you could just play a G if you want every time. And like instead of doing that step down, you can just stay on a D minor. D minor is fine. You can just do that. So by doing that, by ignoring the subscripted pieces and the riffs, right? Instead of ignoring or by ignoring the riff and the subscripted, you know, up the neck things, you can just play A minor, D minor, G. Uh, that'll make it easier for you if you'd like. Um, beyond that, I think I'm just going to describe to you the way I played it. And if you're up for that, then cool, let's go. Right hand, of course, was very, very easy on this. In fact, I used one finger. If thumb counts as a finger, if it doesn't, then I didn't use any fingers on the right hand. Um, I just went down, down, up, down. That's it. The entire song, with one exception, when there are chord changes more frequently, I sometimes just did the downs, uh, like beautiful picture you made as my bride. See, I just did. Like one, two, three, I just did the downs instead of worrying about the, the up and downs. But with that as the only exception, it was just down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. Now, as far as the, those chord transitions, again, I'm just going to show you the way I played it. I started with a second position G, meaning instead of playing the easy G, the open one like this, I barred the second fret and dropped it this way. The reason is because right after that, I was going to have to do a G flat anyway. So it's actually easier to play the hard G and then just slide down one fret and then back up. That's an easier move than going from here to here, right? So, plus I like the smooth sound of that slide from here, right? And by the way, that's the entire introduction and the whole, and most of the first line. So, slide it back and then slide it back up. And that's how the first verse starts. When your old wedding ring was new. 
And then from here, I'm going to switch to a D. In this case, my index finger is almost in the right place. It has to arch and only cover the fourth string there, fourth from the ground. That's how we count. But so, instead of barring, you pick it up and, and it drops in one place. But it does stay stuck to the ukulele right in that place. So that's kind of your anchor point. And then you drop right back to it, barred again to that G. And each dream that we dream came. Now I'm just going to slide the index finger back up one, right? One fret to that same place. And here's what I'm doing with that riff. That's it. I start out with a second position A minor, which is just an A minor with your uh, ring finger stuck on third fret of your A string. And so slide it down one and then pick it up. That's all I did. Dream that we dream came true right it's not hard but these flourishes make the song a lot jazzier so and i remember with pride so that's how i'm doing that right the ring finger goes back to the c and then these two fingers are kind of hovering there already they're right in position for that f sharp diminished how we and now they're in the right shape they just have to slide over one string to drop that g standard g this time Stood side by side. Whoops, sorry. Stood side by side. So I'm from a G. I'm dropping the index finger for the G major seven, and then I pick it up again and drop one finger back on for the G six. What a beautiful. So again, your index finger is kind of the stability point. It's moving over just one fret. Beautiful picture you made as my bride. So. From the D, you're sort of switching these positions diagonally to the A, and then back to the D. And now your ring finger is going to stay stuck to the ukulele, slide up just one fret to that G. And now your middle finger is going to stay stuck up there, slide up one fret for the D7. And then guess what? Your index finger is already borrowing the second fret. Yay! All you have to do is drop the other fingers in place, and you've got the G again. Even though... Silver crowns your hair. This is duplicating the first lines. I can still see. Oh, sorry. I can still open G here. Still see those gold. So from here, I'm going to pick them all up and drop them on a G7. Sorry, that's completely different. Ringlets there. Now I'm going to slide this. Your index finger is on the right string, at least. It's going to slide up and flatten out to that C. Second position. C. And the reason I'm doing that, right, I want to be able to s sing a little bit. That's what I want to hear on the that A string. So instead of, again, if you're a beginner, you just want to stay on the C. You can just stay on an open C. But I'm forming this one because I want to hear it going up the neck. So I can still see those gold ringlets there. So I'm doing that, dropping the pinky on the 5th fret, sliding up to the 7th. And then I pick it up. Love's old flame is the same as the day I changed your name. So I'm back to the 2nd position C, and then I drop down to a D. And then from D to a G, again I'm sliding the ring, ring finger up to the G. And I pick them all up, but I drop an E flat. Normally I play this version of an E flat, but I want to play the full E flat here because I'm going to slide the whole hand up one fret to the E. So a day I change your name. See that slide? When you're old. Now I'm going to slide my index finger up for the C. Writing ring, drop a whole D was new. So I'm just kind of, you can you can either slide your uh, middle finger up there or you can kind of roll your ring finger over for that C and then back to D and slide back up to the G. And now the first key change verse. When you're old. So from, from the G, I'm sliding up to a second position C. Wedding ring. Notice, same position, exactly. It's my whole hand shifting down one fret. Was new. And now I have to slide down, or I have to drop down to a G, but, and back up. And each dream that we dreamed came true. 
hear that? Now again, you can just play a D minor if you want. From the from the B, you can just slide your index finger down one fret and the, drop the D minor. But to do what I did, you also have to drop your pinky on the fifth fret and then slide it down. That's what I'm doing, fifth fret. And then you just pick up two of your fingers and leave two of them there. I remember with pride how we stood side by side. So from an F to a G, and then I'm sliding my middle finger up to a C, and down one fret to the C major seven, and then picking it up for the C6. That's it. So I got the G, slide my ring finger down to a D, U, and then here's the, the biggest step up in the song. Slide my ring finger back up to a G. As, again, all I'm doing here is a dropping a pinky, but then I slide this whole thing up. So how, that's how I did that, that key transition, right? So from the G, beautiful picture, you made pinky to a C fifth, and then I slide them all up to a second position or third position C. And now this is, it's kind of my pinky is my stability point. It's just stepping up, right? It's, I've got my G, sorry, that's what I'm doing. That's what I want to hear, so. Sorry, I screwed it up. Oops, I'm out of picture here. So, G, G fifth, third position C, which is the same as, it's just a C here with my pinky down. And then I'm going to I'm going to put this 7th in that is to say it's a G 7th but I'm sliding my pinky up one fret and I leave my uh my uh ring finger is almost in place. I mean, I'm sliding up two frets and then just laying it flat. That's all. And then I leave that there, slide my pinky up two more frets and then slide the whole thing up one fret. That's it. Even though silver crowns your hair. And that's the first time we have this position. So here, it's just a B flat shape up on the fourth fret. That's my C sharp. Even though silver crowns slide down one fret and back up one fret. And then, yeah, I'm gonna, my ring finger is gonna stay almost in the same place. It's just gonna slide down one fret. And I drop the rest into a closed G shape for that G sharp. I can still. And now my middle finger becomes the stability point. It's going to stay right there. And I drop my ring finger across. See those gold ringlets? And then it's the same shape, but down here. Right? That's the F sharp. And now I'm just going to pick up my middle finger. That's my B flat minor. And then I'm going to drop two fingers. That's my E flat minor. So watch that again. Here's my F sharp. Pick it up and drop them down. And then pick them up again for the F sharp again. Love's old flame is the same. Just slide up two frets, that's all. As the day. You notice my ring finger is staying stuck right there. This whole time I've got. What did I do? Uh, still see those glowing lights, and then right from here, it's all st it's stuck right there. The love's old flame, just stuck right there, stuck there, stuck there. This whole time, this is my stability point. Stay, I change your name. It's still stuck all the way from here. This same shape, I slide right off the nut to there for the A, and then back on to that B flat. When you're old, my ring finger is still stuck right on that string. Wedding ring, still stuck. Was there. Finally, I'm going to pick it up.
That's what I'm doing. From here, I pick everything up except my middle finger, slide it all the way down, and then back on, and I hang. When you're old, wedding ring was new. And then I go all the way up to the 13th fret. And that's all those are, it's barred. That's a C sharp, or a C sharp uh, sixth, and a C sixth, and a C sharp sixth. And that's it. Okay, now I'm gonna play, I think I'm gonna play through the entire song because each key change requires completely different fingering and everything, so. Play through the whole song in slow motion, close up on my chord changing hand, and it'll be even slower. It's a pretty slow song to start with, so even though it has, you know, tons of chords, at least you normally have more time than most to transition, but I'll give you even more time by doing it in slow motion. Here we go, painfully slow motion. One, two, three, one, two, intro. See you Wednesday. Bye.